Thank you for joining us, President Paz Cancer. Um, uh, we, we have a couple questions. We, we asked our fans to come up with questions for you, but unfortunately, because we're at four in the morning, uh, those are few and far between. So well, the we, fan base is just growing. Right, right. Point. It's it will get there, exactly. and this interview will hopefully exactly. expand it dramatically, exactly. or end it forever, right? That's the goal. Okay. Well, not, that, not the second part. But That's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I will just start... Um, Break break the ice a little bit. Uh, t uh, so when you were a kid, uh, what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be a garbage man. A garbage man. I love the big truck that drove down the street. I wanted to drive the truck. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the great irony of my career is, in a sense, I am a garbage man, right? Um, but later on, when I was in school, what I wanted to be was a diplomat, like a you know, ambassador for the State Department. And... The serious great irony of my career is that while I had a chance to work for the State Department and ultimately decided I wanted to work in education instead, my job actually on a daily basis makes me just as much the diplomat or the ambassador for an institution as I would have been if I had worked for you know, the U.S. State Department. What is your favorite restaurant in North yeah, you know, this is a delicate question because if I really list the place that I like the best, every other restaurant in town will no longer welcome me there. So sure. can I dodge a little bit by giving a set of restaurants yeah, that I like in Absolutely, Moscow? absolutely. Okay, uh, probably like everyone else, I am a huge tavern fan. I'm very fond of the Rube. But there are moments when you must go to El Triunfo mm. to get certain things there. And I will also add, if you haven't been there, Booney's Bar and Grill... In Millersville? Okay, fantastic. We're going out to dinner today. You need yeah. to go there. Okay. <laughs> Best burger. Yeah, I'll go with you. Who's buying? Okay, great place. Um, did you dress up for Halloween this year? You know, this year I did not. My son was home from school, and his birthday is Halloween, so we were yeah. out doing a family celebration. But in the past, you may have heard, I've dressed up as various other things right, on yeah. campus. Yeah. Yeah, we were. Um... Did you dress up? Did we, uh, Alex, did we dress up? Well, uh, Sorry, Cubic, did we dress up? Yeah, <laughs> Cubic yeah, and uh, Seismic. What did we wear? Tie-dye shirts and paper hats. Yeah. Oh, very we, nice. Um, what type of paper hats? Like sailor hats or, you know? Like whatever we could pull with. Oh, paper. very good. Classic. It was, we put a lot of time into it. it was, I can tell. It's very, it was very <laughs> difficult. But, um, <clears throat> which Avenger would you want to have as your vice president? Uh, obviously Thor. Oh, I of course. Mean, come on. I mean, you know, he's got the hammer, he's stunningly good looking, and he would be very useful to have right. as a sidekick. Absolutely. So, I, yeah, no, I gotta be completely Thor. agree with that one. Yeah, it's an yeah. easy one. Yeah. For me, it'd be a toss up between Thor and Iron Man. Yeah, Iron Man's okay, but he's uh, too much attitude. Right. Thor is right. there, and. And Thor's reliable. overlooked, too. No one gives Thor a second. Absolutely. A second. He deserves more. I mean, he puts the hammer Mjolnir, you yeah. know, that's just a kick ass yeah. thing to have. So, yeah, clearly Thor. <laughs> So which five people, living or dead, would you want to have a meal with? This is a great question. I had to think carefully about this. Um, I had six, but I cut it down to live okay. with the rules of okay. this. So I'm going to start with Derek Bach. Now, you may not know who he is. Derek Bach was the president of Harvard for 30 years, and he's this sort of amazingly wise figure in American higher education, and everything he's done in life he's done brilliantly, and so he's like a personal hero of mine. I've never met him, so I want to go to dinner with Derek Bach. Um, the Dalai Lama. Uh, you know, I read a lot about him. Everybody I've ever known who's met him says that you just feel suffused by the goodness and the holiness and a spark of divinity that he brings with him everywhere, and we could all use that. So I would want to be with the Dalai Lama. Um, went with a historical couple historical figures. Uh, Cardinal Richelieu, the man that like, constructed modern France, and sometimes he's thought of as a manipulative Machiavellian figure, but he really isn't, and he's a fascinating guy. So mm -hmm. I would like to, Cardinal Richelieu, I like a lot. Mark Twain, uh, Samuel Clemens, obviously, yeah, you know, right. um, favorite author, and he'd be great at a dinner party. There would just be a oh, certain course. cutting wit <laughs> that he would bring, and uh, you know, I adore his work. And Joan of Arc, wow. uh, somebody I've also always been absolutely fascinated by and admire and want to know what you know really made her tick. And sure. I don't know how she'd get along with everybody else at the dinner right. party. She and Cardinal Richelieu, I don't know. Could be good, <laughs> could be bad. It's a very but eclectic that's, mix. that's yeah, the party that's, I want to go to. All right, all right. Yeah. 
Um, what's your favorite movie, and why is it Sharknado 2? You know, I'm actually very fond of Sharknado 2. It's fantastic uh, It's a great movie. movie. You and think it's better than Sharknado 1? No, Sharknado Ooh. 1 is better. Okay. Sharknado 2. I think that's where we're different. Sharknado yeah, no. Sharknado 1, uh, Sharknado 2 is slightly more derivative, although the shift in location right. was nice. But yeah. um, So I do like the steering of me towards the okay. Sharknado okay. family of films. I will go with Diner as my ultimate favorite right. movie. Do you, have you seen Diner? Yeah, I have not. Okay, gotta go watch Diner. It is a mid-80s, it's Barry Levinson's first movie, and it's oh, Kevin Bacon and Mickey Rourke and uh, Paul Reiger and uh, Steve Gutenberg, and they're this group of friends who all through high school and college from Baltimore have hung out with each other, but now one of them's getting married, and it's about growing up and friendship, and great movie, gotta watch Diner. We'll do that, and we'll go out to the tavern tonight. There you and we'll go. Make a whole night of it. Absolutely. Where is Schiller? I know the answer to that, but I have to kill you Ooh. if I told you. So Ooh. that would be bad Ooh. for ratings. Right. And do you, do you uh, always know where Schiller is as the president of the college? I do not always know, but I try to make it my business to have channels or avenues that if I needed to know where Schiller is or if there were some compelling institutional reason why Schiller ought to appear <laughs> that perhaps I might have a better than average chance. All right. And we'll leave it at that. Okay. okay. I feel like we're approaching a dangerous topic. There's here. a line that yeah. you're about to cross okay. that I won't well, let you we'll cross. Okay? And there are lines we'll that I'm not allowed to cross because the Guardians are properly zealous of okay. their prerogatives. And, you know, I can't summon Schiller. Fair I don't have that power. Fair Only enough. they do. We can but move on then. We can move on. Uh, okay. For, um, <clears throat> so this is this might be a little bit of a touchy question, but we went to St. Olaf a couple, about a month ago mm -hmm. for dinner, and they have really good food there. And as opposed to? As, well, I don't want to... I mean, I've already approached the line already, but um, why? What, what's the reasoning behind... Uh, St. Yeah. Olaf having such good food. Well, I do think St. Olaf has good food. Um, I would say a lot depends on, so if we're going to the core of this question, which is relative Carlton St. Olaf mm -hmm. dining, um, I think a lot depends on the meal and the dish. I, I hate to say to you, I actually think breakfast at St. Olaf is their best meal. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't been there for breakfast, I would urge you to try it. Um, but actually, I, there are some things that we do better. I think our stir fry is better than their stir fry. I don't think I had stir fry. Okay, so, yeah, yeah so I think I like our stir fry better. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's a matter of opinion, but I do think generally St. Olaf students tend to very much like St. Olaf food, and the trend for Carlton students giving positive grades to yeah. our food has been going up, so Good, yeah, maybe we'll balance this yeah. out. Yeah, I, uh, I mean, they can have food, but we have Carlton, so... Right, exactly. They can, they can right. right. We love St. Olaf. It's my second favorite college right. in Northfield, exactly. but we're not switching. <laughs> So this is along the same lines of food, uh, Burton or LBC? Yeah, uh, Burton for me, although I would like to translate Frenchie from LDC to Burton when I'm walking into Burton. Yeah. That would be my and preferred he's reason alone to go there. <laughs> Understandable, but if Frenchie were there at the door of Burton, that'd be like the best of both worlds for me. And you don't have that power as the president? <laughs> you know, I think he loves LDC. I'm not going to try. I'm not. Why mess with something that's working? Right. Exactly. Um, so, I've heard a lot about the tunnels, mm -hmm. um, but I haven't. I haven't seen them. I'm a freshman. So, uh, what's what's the hidden in there? Is yeah. Uh, well, mostly we use it to store old course catalogs, mm -hmm. and then the gold bullion that backs up our oh, endowment. Right. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So. Um, so, you know, it's worth going to visit. And going to visit. I think there's an argument that certainly would be wrong for me to be officially condoning breaking right. into the tunnels, but I think it would be fair to say that generations of Carls have felt that their four-year college experience <laughs> might not have been complete if at some point they didn't at least see some of the tunnels. Okay. Yeah. Right. But leave the gold bullion there right. when you're yeah, that's, okay. that's yeah, We don't want to mess yeah. with the right. you know, fiscal solvency of the institution. That mm -hmm. would never be good. Great questions, by the way. I've Thank been you. interviewed a lot, but this is the most original okay. set. We, we try. Yeah. Carol Excellent tries really yeah, hard. I love it. <laughs> so our show is very music-oriented, mm -hmm. um, and we were 
wondering about your music preferences and what's on the executive playlist yeah. that you're listening to. Um, so I'm a big Tom Petty fan. Mm. Okay, so why Tom Petty? Uh, Sam Cooke. Okay, original, you know, soul, rock and roll. Uh, Beach Boys. Uh, and I have a secret weakness for sort of bubblegum pop songs from the 60s and 70s, which is my youth. So a particular favorite song of mine is a song called Beach Baby, uh, which is a one-hit wonder by a band called First Class. That If you have never heard it, you should hear it. If for what it is, it's the apogee of that particular type of faux 60s rock and roll music. Excellent. All right. Um, so, Cubic and I are um, we're, we're interested in starting a band eventually. Um, but we, we don't have a good band name yet. Do you have any, any good suggestions for us? Yeah, I got a great band name. I've okay. picked the band name that I want for my band. Okay. Okay. Right. I will reveal this to you, but you're not allowed to use it we unless I'm in the band. Fair enough. Okay. Do, you want to, do you want to be in our band? I, I might be. Okay. It depends <laughs> okay. what you really need. Okay? okay. But my band name is totally cool. All so right. my band name is Fish Sticks for Lunch. Fish Sticks for Lunch. It is a great name right. for band. Okay. Right. And you're not allowed to use it. Any listeners are not allowed to steal my name. That's... Fish sticks for lunch, copyright, Stephen G. Posky. Okay. okay, all right. Well, do you play an instrument? You know, I played trumpet all the way through Ooh, that's perfect. elementary school to the start of high school where I had to choose between continuing with my trumpet career or being a football player in high school. And I rather foolishly went with the football instead of the trumpet. I was probably a lot better with the trumpet than mm -hmm. I was with the football. But yeah, I know how to play the trumpet. Okay. Okay. But it's been a while. Or... And you know, I got it in the house. So I could take it out and probably tool around on it. The lip yeah. is not quite as strong yeah. as it used to be. But uh, yeah, I could make some notes on it if I had to. So do you want to be in our band? Okay. <laughs> is that formal invitation? Uh, boy, well, well, who else is in the band uh, and who so plays from, what? <laughs> Cubic Realism and okay. Seismic Whisper. Well, then and I need a cool name, it. too, then. You, right? We can give you a cool name. Okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll make a guest appearance okay. in the band at some point. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, well, can you sing? Because uh, we, we're also looking for a singer. If you can play trumpet. Yeah, I'm you know. not your singer. I have a, Everybody else in my family is a really good singer. My wife is a great singer. My daughter is actually a good singer and an a cappella singer here at Carleton. My son is a great singer, too, and I suck at it. Okay. Okay. Well, as the old proverb goes, if you can talk, you can sing. I've so, heard that proverb. <laughs> would you be willing to sing a song with us? Well, you know, I did get a clue that this was coming, and, uh, you know, I'm willing to do this. I don't think you'll be particularly proud. Um, do you want to pick the song, or would you like well, me to suggest the song that I was thinking is my best song to sing? So I will do best at singing the theme song from the 1970 television show, The Love Boat. Okay, are you familiar with this show? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I can, I can, I will give you a okay. little bit of The Love Boat, okay? And I'm going to really regret having done this, okay? <laughs> so let's see if I can do this. Okay. So I should just sing now? Just, I, if you want music, we can find music for you, too. Uh, you're not going to be able okay. to find this. I'll, I'll okay. do this a cappella. Right. Okay, so let's we try. Can, okay. Love exciting and new. Come aboard, we're expecting you. And love, life's sweetest reward. Let it flow, it floats back to you. The love boat <laughs> soon will be making another run. The love boat bringing adventure to everyone. And it goes on after that, and I think I've done enough damage. Okay? I'll, re I'll regret that for a long time. No, that was fantastic. Time. Okay. That was fantastic. <clears throat> Do you have a uh, go-to dance move? Um, my friends would tell you that the concept of me on the dance floor is in itself a rather scary and frightening <laughs> notion, but yeah, I have a sort of like, uh, high school wrestling thing where you sort of half get down in the crouch <laughs> and you sort of suss out your opponent. That'd be my go-to dance. That's, that's really good. Like okay. when I, when I'm in the cave, you know, I, I have to draw attention. So I, I go like sprinkler. Oh, that's Sprinkler nice. right yeah. off the bat and then like a little bit of a... This thing and then 
It usually it usually yeah. has a positive effect. Oh, that's good. Yeah, no, mine's sort of this. Yeah, it's, you know, it's very, kind of like very that. similar to sound. Like yeah, it sounds like it. But yeah. the sprinkler part, I never thought. The sprinkler, the sprinkler. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a we have to try that. No. Okay. Yeah. I guess one of the beauties of doing a doing an interview is we get to turn the tables around a little bit. It's and, only fair. Um, uh, so we we all filled out. Um, Supplemental essay questions. You know, and this is this is a holistic interview. Oh God! This is only a part of the interview. You know, my my grades do not fully reflect the quality (laughs) of my academic performance, and I don't always test well. So I'm hoping we'll consider that in the application. Okay. Um, So straight from the Carlton supplemental essay questions. Oh dear. Uh, if any member of your family, immediate or extended, have attended Carleton, please list their names, relationships to you, and graduation years. Absolutely. Okay. My daughter, Jill M. Poskanzer, soon to be Carleton, class of 15. Excellent. Okay. The next one. Uh, why are you interested in Carleton, and how did this interest develop? Ah, uh, a good question. And this one I will answer is the serious essay question. Um, so you may know I was recruited away from a presidency in the public education system of New York State mm-hmm. to come to Carleton. I was president at the State University of New York at New Paltz, which is in the Hudson Valley. I came here, what drew me here was, first of all, the fact that unshakable, unequivocal commitment to being really excellent in the academics. Uh, that's something that isn't always the case in all public institutions around the country or privates, but it really was part of the DNA at Carleton. That and the fact that the culture here is both, while we're committed to being incredibly good, this is the most open and unpretentious and unassuming and friendly, really great place that I'd ever known, and that's what made me want to be at Carleton. And actually being here those impressions of the culture, it's even, it's true and it's even healthier than you might think from the outside, which I hope you're also seeing as students yeah, so far. Absolutely. You yeah. love excellence, that's why you're showing me. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> well, I, I love excellence too. So. Um, all right. Uh, and finally, for a bit of fun, mm-hmm. what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you see each of the following words? We'll, yeah. go, we'll go with knowledge. It's word association. Okay. Knowledge. knowledge. Power. Power. Right. right, is that Francis Bankhead, right? Knowledge is power? Right. Okay, yeah. Um, play. Play dough. Play dough, all right. Um, and future. Time travel. All right. Okay, I guess that's two words. Do I get two that's, words? That's fine. We'll okay. It's a thing. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's thing. a thing. Yeah, okay, that's, that's legit. Yeah. Have you ever tossed around a frisbee? Absolutely. Okay, okay. Oh. even before I came to college, my <laughs> flick is not as strong as my backhand, but I'm working on it. Uh, a hot potato. Absolutely. Who didn't go to a you know, third grade birthday <laughs> party where you played that? An idea. All the time. Okay. In my class, in my scholarship. Mm-hmm. Right. <clears throat> okay. So um, we, we had our listeners send us suggestions for, um, for Carlton, which you can take them or leave them, uh, okay. as you will. But um, so our first suggestion was for more chicken strips at sales. Yeah, I understand there used to be more for yeah. the same price and they went down and mm-hmm. that's still being negotiated. That's apparently a pretty hot topic. Okay, but... more chicken strips. Yeah. All right, I'll pass that one along. <laughs> uh, sales delivers would be a, a major um, <laughs> suggestion. I think because, you know, some of the campus housing is so uh-huh. far away from sales mm-hmm. and sales is the only kind of a la carte area where you can purchase. So if you want to deliver right now, you're getting what? Pizza Hut, Domino's, uh, Chapati won't deliver, right? You got to go there and pick it up. Yeah. 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 So sales delivers. Until what time and night should they be delivering? Or should it be 24 24 7? 7. (laughs) Yeah, I understand. (laughs) I mean, the full service college, what else could we expect, right? Okay. Um, Yeah, I guess our listeners are really into food, so it's... (laughs) But, uh, and the last suggestion is to make our radio show time slot at a more reasonable time. I, I yeah, don't know who, what's with this 4 a.m. It's, it's yeah, ridiculous, I, mean, yeah. I think. Yeah. Okay, I'm prepared so to sign the about yeah. I will <laughs> use my unbridled powers over the Executive Board of KRLX. Thank you, thank you. Um, before we do the uh, trivia game show mm-hmm. questions, 
Could you kind of talk into the microphone and say, KRL Excellent is my favorite radio show? Sure. Uh, and I'm getting some if kind of... If it is your favorite. If it is. How, it is, it how is. could it not be my favorite shows, okay? Of all my favorite radio shows on Sunday morning at 4 a.m., <laughs> KRL Excellent is, of course, the best and my favorite. Excellent. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. That'll be our new uh, okay. opening. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So um, we have prepared a little bit of a trivia game show for you. Um, I was not told that this was going to be graded. Are there prizes? There Fabulous are, there prizes. Are, there, is, there, there is a prize. prize. Wow. There's okay. Prize. Okay. So then let record show that I'm not looking okay. at any answers. Right. Okay. This is. I'm doing you. this blind. This okay. Right. All right. List five of Carlton's previous ten presidents. Oh, I can do them all. Okay. okay you so got to know all. your predecessor. Can okay. You do them in order? I can do them in order, but I can't get the. I'll get really close on the years, but I'll try just to do them. Okay. So it's James W. Strong, William Salmon. Donald Cowling, Larry Gould, John Nason, Howard Swearer, Bob Edwards, David Porter, Steve Lewis, Rob O'Dean, and me. Wow. That was, that was really Yeah, you got to know them. Yeah. Okay, I mean, yeah. yeah. Now that kind of comes that with was, the job. That was, that's, a, that's, a, that's a softball we had question. To, uh, we had to look this up and write down answers, but yeah. it was 100%. Yeah. So far, so good. Yep, so far, so good. Um. What is the name of Taylor Swift's newest album? 1989. Oh, wow. It's got the... Are you, are you not even a, not yeah, even a I'm a fan. It's what the players got to play. <laughs> and hey, just got to hate. Yeah, no, I like Taylor Swift. Okay. Uh, what is the Minnesota State bird? The loon. Uh, all right, name the first two Carleton College graduates. Okay, I think I got this right. They married each other. They Do did. I get half point for you that? Get, okay. You get half point for that. It's James Brown and... My, Myrna, Myra Brown, something like that. James Dow and Myrna Brown. That's correct. James Dow and Mer, Myra, Myra Brown. Oh, okay. I said Myrna, so I probably get okay. I get, you get, you get, I get we'll a little neck on that. Okay. 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 Well, well that's generous. Okay. That's, that's a point. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what TV show featured a fictional character who attended Carleton College? Parks and Rec. It's Ben Wyatt, right? Oh, uh, and what was his radio show name? Oh, God. It's like <laughs> Zoot Suit. Carl or something oh, like that. Russ is Zoot Suit Wyatt. Zoot Suit Here's Wyatt. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sure. I should have gotten that. Okay. It's very good. It's a good show. I like it. And he. I don't know whether you know this. We did not know. It's like his agent or somebody he knows went to Carlton, but they actually asked him to film a little clip to try and get people to come to reunions, and he totally did it. And it's just like a really class. So. Way to go, agent. Way to go, <laughs> actor. That's awesome. Uh, what is the broadcast frequency of KRLX? 88.1. That's correct. Yeah. And the city of Northfield is located in what county? Or is it counties? Oh, the last piece was the trick. Okay, it's mostly Rice County, right? But there's a tiny, tiny little slice out near the hospital that is also in Dakota County. Okay. But mostly we're Rice County. That's final. 100% so far. Okay. Yeah, terrific. Uh, final question. Do you like tie-dye? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I don't know how to make tie-dye. I've never but understood it. <laughs> okay. It's like, it's like tie knots in the stuff, but like if you tie the knots a particular way... It comes out. I've never understood. We, uh, but yes, I like tried. it. And you're wearing very we nice tie-dye we, we things. We tried okay. really hard. Yeah. Um, okay. But... You got 100%, which is unprecedented. Yeah. I've never seen this. In well, how do you think I got to be history. president of the college it's, after it's, all, right? It's amazing. So, your prize, Oh, awesome. We, we made you a um, KRL Excellent tie dye shirt. Wow. With, name with my name. And autographed it. Wow, Cosmic and Seismic. <laughs> this is so nice of you. Oh, you don't even write out Cosmic. You no, just it's do cubic. the cubic. cubic yeah. You just write the cube. It's very, yeah. Wow. It's, it's, very, it's, it's like, for instance, it's very cubic realist. Okay. Can I put it on? Absolutely. Okay, yeah, let's do it. I'm taking off the jacket. Let's put it on. Okay. It's cool. I like it very much. Do I need to do special things to take... I mean, we're going to bring, like, a legally take care binding of it? contract to uh, tell you to wear it every... Every week. Right? Every week. Right, okay, that's good, yeah. Oh, uh, we washed it so simply. Oh, that's nice. Oh, thank you. I already did that. Okay. It's clashing with my uh, Oxford cloth uh, striped shirt here. Tiny Tiny never clashes. Tiny clashes. That's good. I like it very much. Thank you. Thank you. Terrific. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's a pleasure and an honor. Thank oh, you thank much. you. Great questions. This was a lot of fun for me, that too. Was a lot of fun. Great.
Uh, do you mind if we take a picture? No, of course. Absolutely.